not so cat like reflexes, say cheese and talk to the fin. These are just some of the winners of the comedy wildlife photography contest that you see here. This competition gives an inside look at the similarities of wildlife and us humans, all with a goal of sparking conservation for animals. Quite often the shots that you, you know, you, you have in your mind, uh, the things that you pre visualized before you take the image uh, don't always work out because the animals aren't always doing what you expect them to do. Photographers know the best images aren't the ones you imagined, and that's especially true for images of wildlife. Wildlife photography, which doesn't have to be lions in the Maasai Mara in Kenya, it can be pigeons, you know, on your on your doorstep. Um, in, you know, middle of nowhere, it could be in, in South London if you wanted it to be. The comedy wildlife photography started eight years ago. The competition was founded on the idea that we could take a message uh, of conservation to people by using humour. Well, there was an accident. We managed to get people responding to the uh, images without and demonstrating that they were building a relationship with the with the animal in the image. The winner of this year's competition is by Jennifer Hadley with not so cat-like reflexes. I felt a tiny bit sorry for that lion cub because it looked a bit painful as um, he slid down the tree. And we spoke to the photographer uh, who was from Texas, I believe in the US, and she, she said, yeah, it was one of those where I wasn't even expecting the cub to try and get down but um, the mum had jumped down and then this cub suddenly had to go and got it completely wrong on the way down, but like all cats, landed on four feet. Another favorite, it's all kicking off. It looks like one, os one kangaroo is literally swinging another one around by its legs, which is, it's not. That kangaroo leapt up and he, the cameraman, the photographer was there at the right time, but it just, um, I think the power of the silhouette and the orange was one thing that grabbed my attention and then the actual image was just such a ludicrous thing for it was a cartoon scene to me but wildlife photography does require a bit of patience um and with this particular competition a huge amount of luck and you, you know you certainly can't predict if they're going to do something funny from saying hello to saying i see you flashing that big smile or almost being eaten by a hippo you see the the human behavior in the animal and that sparks a connection the images of a funny animal to a human seem to strike a chord with a focus on conserving wildlife around the world more people doing small things is better than one or two doing a big thing I like hey the guys. raccoon. Hey, yeah. it's just me <laughs> going through your trash in the middle of the night. <laughs> the group also does a comedy pet photography competition with the goal of protecting animals from animal abuse, which is a great thing. Yeah, yeah good timing there. Good.